Okay guys, here's another one. Uh, we go camping and we always like to make sure we have some type of a first aid kit for scrapes, bumps, and bruises. Got this on Amazon. Uh, I could pay like about 20 bucks. It tells you everything it comes with. Swiss Safe Products. Pretty cool. Alright, let me take a look. One handed. Because I'm not a professional. Nice. That was skillful. Okay, anyway. Let's take a look. Here's the zipper part. So it's uh, it's about that big. Here's my hand. About that big. It's supposed to come with 200 pieces. I don't know what they mean by 200 pieces. Take a look. Alright, cool. And here we go. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, wow. Okay. That's pretty cool. Looks like you got all sorts of nifty stuff in here. Okay, some safety pins and some other doodads. Some tapes and I guess if you if you have to sew yourself up, you can get pink. Nah, I'm just kidding. Okay. And all sorts of other cool stuff here. Look at this. Look at this. Alright. Don't know what this is. Quick saver, mouth to mouth. Oh, has a heart attack. Pow! Okay. You got you know you got your other stuff in here. Your typical stuff: gloves, you know, blanket. Which we have a couple of these already in our bug out bags. You know. Yeah. Speaking of bug out bags, while we're going through this, let's talk a little bit about bug out bags and you know, why why people have them. You know, some people have them for the end of the world, which, quite frankly, if it's the end of the world, where are you going to go? Uh, that's my theory. I don't know. What, what the heck is this? What, a cigar punch? Oh, it's a whistle. All right. Well, that's cool. You know, um, trauma pad. That's pretty cool. But I have bug out bags in case my wife gets on my nerves and I can just bug out. I <laughs> uh, hope she doesn't see this video. Anyway, we got cotton swabs and... All sorts of cool antiseptic cleaning stuff. You know, band-aids, your typical band-aids. You know, pair of scissors up here, surgical scissors. That's kind of nice. Look at that. Nice. Sting relief. I guess if you get bit, you put put this on there and it helps you out. And whatever this is. What is this? Cotton balls, okay. That's cool. Other big patches for larger wounds, I guess. What is that? Gauze. A bunch of gauze. So it's not bad for 20 bucks. I mean, you know, it's a great little little thing to, to, to help you out, you know. And the good thing about buying stuff like this, okay, is once you do this, you can just replenish what you have. And you don't have to buy anything more because you're just replenishing what you use and maybe even adding stuff to it. And so it gives you a great idea of what you what you need to have inside your bug out bag or in your in your first aid kit for the most part. I would probably put a little more items in here, um, you know, some more cleaning stuff, whatever for wounds. But for the most part, for twenty bucks, you can't beat it. And you should always have some type of a first aid kit when you go camping, because you don't know what you're going to run into. Maybe stuff for poison ivy, which this does not have. I would definitely probably um, buy something to stick in here somewhere for poison ivy, poison oak, um, maybe even a little bit more bug bite stuff going on, and um, actually maybe a snake bite kit, but where we go camping, you know, there's so many humans in the area, you know, and it's all the time, so I really don't think the snakes are going to be around that all, that much, I mean, I'm sure they're there, don't get me wrong, I don't need no comments like, oh, dude, you're crazy, you're, you're out there, of course they are, but for the most part, they either just leave you alone, or they're so used to you, they don't care, um, but anyway, 
this is not bad. I mean, you get you a little bit of here, a little there. It'll get you, it'll get you what you need, you know. And uh, emergency, it's what it's for. I mean, we're not going to do any kind of a heart surgery or anything out here. Although, if somebody does, oh, they can save you. You know, and if you don't know how to slow yourself up, you can always use safety pins. <laughs> now, don't do that. Don't say, the guy on the YouTube told me to do it. I, I, I won't take credit for that. Gloves, large, nice. Pretty good stuff. All right. Thanks, guys. And remember, when you go camping, always have stuff to keep you safe. Nice. Thanks, guys.